why I like the integration between Big Fix and Curator so much. Well, first, it's trivial to add uh, Big Fix as a scanner, going into the admin tab and putting a few parameters here, getting a user ID from the Big Fix. Doesn't have to be an admin, by the way. And then that, once you have done that, which is very simple, you can schedule scanner data to be sent to Curator daily if you want to. And then the information in the in Curator Asset Database is updated far more frequently than what you will do with a traditional network scanner. And everything that is the OS and applications on top of the OS, like your Tomcat and you know Adobe, whatever it is that is uh, on top of the OS, the vast majority of those are actually patchable by BigFix. So you have up-to-date information on what's vulnerable out there. Why it's, uh, that is so good? Well, let's take a look at this particular offense in which we have a, de a de destination vulnerable to detected exploit. Let me actually show the rule that triggered that offense so we can understand why this is important. But notice that the test conditions on the rule basically says, I have a potential exploit. And, and this is typically coming from IPSs. The IPS knows that something has been attempted to be exploited. It doesn't know whether the attack was successful. In the same way, a scanner knows what's vulnerable out there, but it doesn't know what is actually being exploited. But once the, the first condition of the test passes, Curator says, well, if this is something happening internally or from the outside in, hmm, then go to the last condition, which is, ha, ah, destination is vulnerable to current exploit. It makes a connection between these two on any port. Then the rule actually fire. So this tells me, hey, something vulnerable out there is being, you know, I have a, a window that doesn't work very well and somebody's trying to get through that window in. So I definitely want to know about it. And once you get that information, what you can do is you can right click on that and go straight to this Big Fix app, a free app that I downloaded from the app exchange. And I get some information about, you know, of course, the you know, what type of OS, memory, this is not very important from a SOX perspective. I can see, you know, what, what is remains to be patched. What I like about it is that there is a correspondence between what we know in the SOC, which is CVE, and what people from patching know, which is the Microsoft KB or MS uh, type of number. But I can quickly see, well, let me see what processes are running on this machine. Mm, okay, I see, you know, this process, this is a big fix. This is Carbon Black Calc.exe. Well, no, nothing strange there. I can click here and see what are the files that changed, that were modified in the last 30 days. And, you know, I get to see Big Fix uh, deploy, maybe as an update on Big Fix. Calc.exe, what the heck is this? People don't update the calculator frequently. Well, I can easily take the hash of that particular uh, supposedly CAC.exe and go to virus total or whatever and check <laughs> what that is, right? I can see, well, let's see if somebody changed that calculator. I can see what software has been updated in the last 30 days. Well, mm, nothing here. Well, that certainly is very fishy. I can actually go ahead and say, well, is anybody else uh, messing around with this hash value here? So I can pivot and paste here and, and get to searching all the machines that I have, which of them is actually vulnerable, has that uh, uh, vulnerable, which machine has involved, has reported that this hash is pres present on that machine. And thankfully is only on the very same machine that we were looking for. Pretty flexible. And I haven't left the curator co console uh, whatsoever. And if we go back to the offense and, and, and display the rule, I want to show you something else that I also like, which is the ability in Curator to, I'm going to the second screen after the, the, the conditions that the rule fire, and there's an option here for adding into any rule a custom action. And in the actions that I have, and there are separate videos that show how you do this, I ask Big Fix to do things for me. Hey, Big Fix, when these rules of uh, triggers, and an offense gets fired, please go ahead and quarantine that box. And then 
this, this script takes the information about the machine and tells basically quarantine the machine, kill a particular process that may be doing some file encryption or ransomware type of behavior. And so you can use BigFix as your enforcer. Whatever can be done by BigFix, you can actually have that automated and trigger uh, from QRE.